Hey guys, Jeremy here, and I finally gave in. I finally watched the first episode of Reboot, The Guardian Code, and it's awful. It's not mind-meltingly bad as I was originally led to believe it would be, but it's still terrible. It's still shit. It starts off shit right off the bat with this terrible hacker character. This is a really robust incredibly archaic view of what movie producers think hackers are. This weird dude who's on a never-ending monologue with himself talking all evil and cryptic and shit and opening the cipher and blah blah blah. He's awful. The decision to make him is awful. The, character, the actor playing him is awful. It's all awful. He's the worst part of the show so far. Then comes the school kids. They're admittedly not that bad but they're still bland as shit. They're not giving that much time to really establish themselves. Admittedly, the episode actually moves really quickly, and they're not awful. They actually look like high school kids, but that Power Rangers dynamic is definitely there. When they get into the world, this is the best part, but that's hard to say when the rest of it is garbage, and your best looking stuff is shiny looking garbage. Now, admittedly, it does have more detail the a in the animations. The animations are much better than the original, but that's because you actually have a budget in the Unreal Engine. If your thing looks shit in the Unreal Engine, you're doing it wrong. And with it being the Unreal Engine, the animation with the camera is much better. I'll admit that. Those are the two improvements, but you should have gotten that considering you're 18 years in the fucking future in terms of technology. However, the world is dead. The thing that the original reboot had was despite its resources, you still felt that this was a world. There was characters, there was colors, there was ambience, there was animation, there was a world around the characters. In this, it's literally just emptiness with tubes and squares, all with a different shade of gray and blue. And that's awful. That's not how you engross people. We were blown out of our minds with just how detailed the world of mainframe was and now we've got this weird looking gray empty square and there's action for the sake of action for no reason like at one point they're in the ship and the ship is spinning but it's going in a straight line it's not avoiding anything it's just spinning for the sake of spinning this is what a kid who's using maya for the first time would think is like oh that's cool i can make the ship spin <laughs> but that's not what you do for a professional product and then the ending with the episode, where apparently the hacker was trying to turn off all of the power in the UK, despite the fact that the show, with its actors, its area, its whole idea is that it's in America. So I don't know why that's a goal of the hacker. And then the Vera character, oh my god. When that character got introduced, like, this is going to get old extremely quickly, and it did. I couldn't take it after two lines, and so I was like, yep, that's it, I'm done. At least to say, it's not the absolute putrid garbage, but mind you, I've only seen the one episode. I hear it just gets worse from here, so that's why I'm gonna cut out. I'm just gonna say, yeah, it's, it's as bad as, almost pretty much as bad as everyone says it is. And the fact that this show is a Canadian, it's based off of a Canadian show that was huge in Canada, and it's made by a Canadian team, and it's filmed in fucking Victoria, and it's still not on Canadian Netflix, is a goddamn fuck you in the face. It's heritage is a Canadian show, and we're being fucked over. Anyways, that's no different for us. So I'll give it a 2 out of 7. But that's it. Now, I'm not watching anything more of this. Maybe a 5-year-old or a 10-year-old might enjoy this, but I can't stand this. It's a complete waste of time. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Anyways, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.